I thought we got up to a little bit of a slow start and execute very well, kind of throwing the ball around. But uh, I was much more pleased with the second half and some of our players who haven't uh, had an opportunity to play a lot. I thought they played with a lot of energy and made some plays for us, and they were having fun out there. And um, you know, I give St. Thomas a lot of credit because they were, you know, com competing to the final minute. And, uh, you know, creating some uh, difficult situations for us despite the score. Carl, when you have an uh, when you have an opponent like this, you get to work in some different lineups. Did you like what you what you got to see out of uh, some of the players that usually don't play a lot? Yeah, well, you know, Sid played uh, her first game against Providence uh, just in our last game. And so we definitely wanted her to get some extended minutes tonight, which we were able to do. And, uh, you know, she had a nice game for us. Uh, so I thought that was really important. And then uh, particularly Goodall hasn't really been in the rotation. And we played a, uh, you know, a lot of games where she hasn't been able to get a lot of minutes. So just to be out there for a long time, you know, if we do need her at some point, I think she, she probably got a little bit of confidence uh, being out there and then performing well. So uh, those are a couple things we wanted to get out of it, and fortunately we did. So, Sydney, what was it like? Uh, it felt good to um, play with my teammates, especially at home. I think at Providence away, I was like a little more nervous, and playing at home with good fans, I felt more confident, and especially seeing the ball go through the rim got me going. Yeah, so when, when that first shot goes in, does it make you a little more confident that the second one and the third one are going to follow? Yeah, after the first one, I'm like, okay, I can shoot again. <laughs> <laughs> so it went in again, so I mean, I credit my teammates for getting me open and stuff, so. Sure. That's it? Oh, no, no. Okay. I thought someone was. Yeah. Um, so, Haley, you had um, you hit a couple shots early and then one on a tear there at the end. Were you, were you feeling it tonight or what? <laughs> uh, no, we had you know talked before the game about a couple of goals that we were going to have and shooting technique and lately you know a lot of us have been shooting the ball pretty well and tonight it's just a good night. Puerto Rico coming up and anyone's thoughts on that? We got some good competition yeah, coming good competition. up. Yeah, good competition. Excited to play. Good test for us, yeah. Yeah, Coach, how are you feeling about Puerto Rico? I mean, like I said, good competition, um, you know, getting out of town, going somewhere different, and um, I don't know if you're going to have a lot of free time. But. Yeah, the, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get to experience a little bit of San Juan, but uh, we understand we also had three uh, really tough games. Uh, you know, uh, four out, or three out of our next five games are against BCS schools. We got Mississippi State and Arizona in this tournament. Once we get back from Christmas, our second game is Auburn. So uh, we're going to be challenged heavily over the uh, next couple weeks before conference season starts, and uh, we're going to need a lot of players playing well at the same time if we're going to win any of those games. Is that how you want to schedule things? Well, we wanted to give ourselves a lot of competition, and we want to, you know, we we want a lot of our non-conference games to be uh, things that will prepare us for conference. Make things where we're at disadvantages in certain situations, and things are very difficult, and we have to perform at a high level just to be in the game. Uh, I think it increases our sharpness and the pace at which we do things, and uh, puts us in a situation, win or lose those games, where. When we get to conference, we've already played, you know, very high-level competition, and we're ready for what uh, conference season basketball is like. Um, we didn't, haven't gotten to talk to you since then, but uh, Whitney had a big night in her first game back against Providence. Um, obviously, didn't need her tonight, but how do you feel about her going into the Mississippi State game coming up? Well, she's still going to be limited in terms of minutes. She played a couple more minutes than we were planning at Providence. Um, so, you know, we're taking it one step at a time. I, I don't want too much pressure to be put on Whitney because, I mean, she's hardly, she's been out for six weeks. And, I mean, when I say she's limited at practice, I'm talking like she practices for 15 minutes and then they take her out. So, you know, that's a lot to ask of somebody to be in condition to be playing BCS schools and, when you've been out six weeks and you've just kind of slowly progressed back into things. So, you know, we're going to be 
counting on a lot of other players, uh, Whitney will definitely give us a boost, and we're glad we'll have her for however many minutes that we have her. But you know, we're going to have to shoot it really well to to win any of the games out in Puerto Rico, and you know, hopefully Haley can keep her stroke going between now and then. And uh, you know, I've, Haley's worked hard on her shot, and uh, you know, I can tell that she feels really good about it, and. Uh, really, Coach Lyles has spent a lot of time with Haley over the last couple of years, really working on her form. And uh, you know, Coach Lyles uh, has done a great job with her. 